Hey everyone, it's Emmett with ArborJet. Today I'm looking at a chlorotic oak tree. You can see right over here over my shoulder. When I'm looking at chlorotic trees and treating chlorotic trees, which is one of my favorite treatments to do because the results are so dramatic, I like to put the trees into a category, light, moderate, or severe chlorosis. And so this one is on the borderline between moderate and severe. Uh, teetering on the severe, and why I say that is because of these limbs up here that haven't quite leafed out yet. Uh, they're starting to get some burn on the foliage. And we'll come over here and take a little bit of a closer look at some of these leaves. Let's test my camera skills. You can see these limbs are spotted and kind of crumpling and burning up. Same over here. Some of that spotting can be caused by a, a leaf disease. And what I've noticed on chlorotic trees is they tend to be more susceptible uh, to leaf diseases. And it's because those, these leaves stay in kind of a weak, underdeveloped state for a longer period of time. Now today is June the 17th, it's Thursday. Uh, I actually just injected this tree with Minjet FE. That is our iron and manganese product, it's micronutrients. It has a little bit of potassium, also some copper, boron, and zinc. So chlorosis, that word means lack of chlorophyll or lacking of chlorophyll. And generally this is caused by a micronutrient deficiency. This is a very common problem in the North Texas area, really common throughout the Midwest. You have oaks or pin oaks. Generally what I see in the Texas area is kind of a hybrid pin oak, Schumard oak. And these pin oak genetics, they require a more acidic soil uh, than what we have in our environment here. And so as these trees grow, their needs become greater and they aren't able to get the iron out of the soil that they need. And so usually with oaks, it's an iron deficiency. You could confirm that with a soil sample or a, a testing the foliage. I'd say nine times out of 10, it's gonna be a micronutrient deficiency. And uh, if you inject the trees with micronutrients, they'll green up usually within about two weeks. And so what I did today is I actually applied the medium rate of Minjet FE, which is 10 milliliters per inch. And then I also applied Shortstop, which is a plant growth regulator, uh, as a basal drench. And so doing the Shortstop, that is going to help the tree in the long run. It's going to improve uh, fibrous root growth. It's gonna make the tree more stress tolerance. And it actually will increase the tree's production of chlorophyll. That's one of the effects of paclobutrazol. And so we're dealing with a tree that has a lack of chlorophyll. We gave it the nutrition that it needs so it can create chlorophyll. And then we also applied the growth regulator, which is going to physiologically help that tree create more chlorophyll. And so what we should see in a couple of weeks is a nice green tree, or at least a lot greener than it is right now. Uh, I took a photo of it and we can do some before and after. And I'll keep an eye on this guys. Um, what I like to tell people about chlorosis is it's kind of like a bank account. This tree has overdrawn its bank account. So it's deficient in these nutrients. With the injections, we're able to very quickly make a direct deposit of nutrients right into that tree's nutrient bank that the tree can then draw on and budget out. And so with that medium rate and the application of shortstop, I'd expect to get two to three years of nice green growth out of this tree. Long-term, that buys you time to where you can begin working on the soil, uh, amending it with compost, biochar, applying things like humic acid, molasses, seaweed extract, things like that to help improve the soil structure and perhaps unlock some of the nutrition that's already there. But in the meantime, you can use the injections or the growth regulator to treat the symptoms, kind of put a Band-Aid on it and help the tree out immediately. Because what happens as this tree is no longer able to create chlorophyll, it's not able to make food for itself. And so year after year of this chlorotic state, this deficient state, uh, puts it in a really bad way and it can be pretty detrimental in the long term for this tree, especially one like this. It's only 12 inches in diameter. It also has to be in parking lot. So it's pretty stressful conditions. I'm looking forward to the results. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'm always happy to help you. Thanks and have a great day.